trim multiple. To get to that tool, we'll go to our MoDOT main toolbar. We'll go to our modify tools, and we will select the one that says trim multiple. In this option, you have three different methods or modes that you can do. You have trim and extend, just trim, or just extend. We'll select the first one that says trim and extend. First thing that you need to do is identify your cutting element or what you want to bring it up to or extend to. We're going to use this yellow line as the example. Now it's going to say down in your status bar either to identify the elements to trim or extend. So I'm going to extend or trim these red lines and also these white lines. So if I select this red line right here it's going to trim off this portion because of course it's already going through it. So if I select this side of the red line, it's going to trim it back. Now if I select this white line, since it does not go across that white line, it's actually going to extend to it. And then I can do the same thing for this red line here if I want to trim it back to it. And then this white line here if I want to extend up to it. And of course once I'm done, I'll right click to reset the tool and now I'm finished. So that's what the trim and extend option will allow you to do. The next option is the trim. I'll select it. This one here you have to identify your cutting element that you want to trim trim it back to. This time I'm going to use the blue line as the example as my cutting element. Now it's going to say identify the elements that you want to trim. Now there's two different ways you could do this. What you could do is actually come in here and select each one of these lines that you want to trim it back to. So if I want to trim this red portion of this line off back to this blue line, I could do that. Same, for the, same thing for that white line, that one there, and that one there, and then right click to reset it. That's one way that I could do it. Or what I could do also is identify my cutting element, which I'm going to use the blue line again. But this time, I'm just going to drag a line across the elements that I want to trim. So if I get to the left side over here, or I could even do it to the right side, it really doesn't matter. But if I hold my left mouse button down, as I drag across any lines that cross that line, it's going to trim off those lines to that cutting element that I identified, which was the blue line. So now if I let go of my left mouse button, you'll see that it'll trim everything back. And then of course, I'll right click to reset it and now we're finished. So that's kind of two different ways you could do that. The other option is the extend. So if I select that option, this time I'll use the green line as my cutting element or what I want to extend to. And then finally come in here and identify the elements that you want to extend. That one there, that one there, select that one, select that one, right click to reset it and I'm finished. Or if I do a few undos, I can do the same thing like I did for my trim but just by dragging a line. So if I select my, my cutting, it, cutting element or the element that I want to trim to which is the green line and now if I hold my left mouse button down and drag across the lines that I want to extend up to that line that I identified let go of it you'll see that's going to extend up to that line that I identified at the very beginning. And then of course I'll right click to reset it and now I'm finished. So that's what the trim multiple tool will allow you to do.